Hello, hello, everyone, and good morning to you all. This is Ava with Stitching in the Interlake. Well, today is Thursday, the 31st of August, 2023, the very last day of August. Yes, tomorrow starts, I guess, the countdown to Christmas. <laughs> That's all I can say. Yes, the countdown to Christmas. So, what am I working on today? Well, I am working on my Santa's Christmas Village. And yes, I am working here on these ducks. I think they're ducks. And um, just a second here, I will show you. Ah, alrighty. Oh, my goodness. Yesterday I worked up here, and this is white. It's called a twall. E T O I L E, I believe. May, there could be an extra L in there. And it has like blend, blending filament already in there. Okay. So I'm using this for snow, all right? But here for the uh, geese, it's just white. So I'm using just the white here. But, oh dear, it's back. Uh, yeah, it, it makes a difference. It gives you that added little bit. So that it looks good. Or looks better. You don't have to. You can keep it just white if you like. But. Blending filament. It looks beautiful. But it is difficult to work with. So I just wish it was more on the silver side. It's a little bit more towards the gold but it's doable. It's doable. See, this is this is what it looks like. Well, I guess it's silver. Yeah, you can see the silver in there. But this is white thread with that gray or that silver thread in there, which makes it look darker. So I think the weather, I think the weather is changing because uh, I think we're going to get some rain because this finger is sore right now. So, yeah. Oh, I'm tired. I did not sleep well last night. I it took forever to fall asleep, and I had to take an Ativan because I just couldn't. I was in deep panic mode last night. I was not feeling it. So, I've just got a lot of thoughts going on in my head. And, uh, yeah. But yesterday it turned out so beautiful in the afternoon that, um, it was actually getting too warm. But I think after this video, I am going to lay down just to close my eyes for a little bit. Have any of you got plans for the long weekend, the Labor Day long weekend? Is it a stat holiday where you are or is it or do you work in a place where 
There's no holiday at all. Nothing. For me, it's the same old, same old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just nothing much has gone on. But I am tired. My eyes, it's like... I get up sometimes in the morning and it's as if my meds haven't fully gotten out of my system. So I'm just drowsy. Oh my goodness, there was nothing on TV yesterday. Oh, last night I did watch. I just put it on my iPad when I went to bed. I was watching these, um, what was it, amazing, amazing people, amazing conditions or something. It was really good. There was one about this six-year-old boy who was born with a parasitic twin. So he had the legs and the arms coming out of his stomach. So they were finally able to remove it. And then there were these conjoined twins from India as well. And they, um, so they did all kinds of scans and everything, and they thought maybe they could be separated, but they can't be. They were good. They had two spines. They had uh, two hearts, two, two sets of lungs everything else but then when it got down they shared a liver and some bowel I think or whatever and it was decided that there was no way no way so yeah and then they had another one that I watched where these two men had uh, neurofibromatosis. And so it was like their face was melting. And because of the, uh, the tumors, the fibrous tumors there. So, and how they were able to um, make the one guy there, they reduced some of the bulk on his face there, and so that he looks better. It doesn't look so, you know, pulled down. But I've, I've always liked, you know, reading or listening or watching programs about people with un very unusual, you know, like once in a lifetime, um, one in a hundred million people or whatever kind of um, problems. And what they 
how they live and how they uh, how they handle living with it. So after lunch, I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna go up to the store and I'm going to um, I have to stop in at the pharmacy. So, and then come home. Yeah. So my quackers are almost done. Yeah. So tomorrow is the official start date for samplers in September. So eager to see what you all are working on. Yes. Yeah. Well, I was, I finished up my one audiobook yesterday, One by One by Frieda McFadden. Very, very good book. Very, very good book. I kind of guessed who it was, but, yeah, there's, there was still a curveball in there. So, and then I started the handyman method, and I think I got two chapters in, and it was just, no, no, was not what I, no, not what I like to listen to, not at all. So... So now I've got the rest of this duck to work on. So the white white will be worked on like Santa's beard. Um, here, the door. This here on the house will be worked in the etoile. It just gives the the snow a little bit of sparkle. But the geese there, they just, they get done in ordinary weight. I wonder how close I will get to finishing this. Oh, I got dishes to do and recycling to pack up and oh gosh. And I'm just feeling just dragged out. I am going to have to lay down. I just don't feel it. I just don't feel it. Yeah, but otherwise, not much else. Yeah, oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I saw they already started putting up signs, election signs around town here for our provincial election, election uh, which is on the 3rd of October. So. 
so I cannot wait for the federal election. Oh, my gosh. Yes, come on, get it going. Kick that JT and his cronies out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But otherwise, that's that's it. Oh, the audiobook I'm back to listening to is by Justin Bell and Mike Krause. Last Light. So, I'm very happy with that book. Well, it's eight books. Seven? Eight books? I can't remember. It's the whole series. I like it when uh, authors put them out like that. Put it out as a whole series. <sighs> it just makes listening to it so much easier. But if you do want to read or listen to a very very good book is that one by Frieda McFadden one by one oh it's really good it keeps you on the edge of your seat and you wonder what's happening and who's doing what and all the red herrings in there Very good. Ugh. I know there was a waiting list there for handyman methods, so I didn't mind handing him back in. Nah, not my thing. The premise was good. But I didn't need all the, like there was too much vulgarities in there. You know, and these vulgarities said and done in front of a child. Nope. No, I can do without that. <sighs> oh, you can tell I'm tired, huh? Because I'm just yawning. I am going to go and lay down on the bed here right away. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. At least I will have some animals done in August. <laughs> I will have them finished. My yeast here. But it's kind of nice here because you can just um, stitch and, and you get motifs done. and Yes. 
Well, I guess that's it. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment. Sorry I'm not more with it today like I was yesterday, but I am just wiped out. I'm just wiped out. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, um, remember the dedicated Facebook group, Stitching in the Interlake. All you need do is mention one of my three sidekicks. And, um, there's a dedicated email address, which is Stitching in the Interlake. Oh, yeah, my email address, sorry. Stitching in the interlake at gmail.com. So. Yeah. I made kind of a stir fry yesterday for lunch. So I have enough left over for today, which is good. Suits me just fine. Didn't want to cook anything today anyways. So I think that's it. But I will continue finishing up on these geese or ducks or whatever they are. And then I will move forward. So... May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you and so do I. And so does Miss Twinkle Toes yourself, Miss Lily Bell, and Jonah's up in the cat condo. And Sydney's hiding again. So, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for subscribing and being part of my channel. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would die on the cross for me so that my sins would be forgiven. And that's a prayer I pray for all of you as well. Okay, everybody, I guess that's it. So we will see you tomorrow, hopefully bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, which I'm not today. <laughs> Toodle-oodles, everybody!